The prosecution wants to call YNW Melly's ex-girlfriend and moms as witnesses against them. The, the, the defense says, how do we even know who they are? We didn't depose them yet. BB in Jack Frost. Mike, What's up, party people? I so yeah. So apparently, why W in why W why in W Melly's lawyer? And himself, apparently, has, I don't know if they filed the motion, but they are against his girlfriend, his girlfriend's mother, and two other people testifying against him. Okay. Now, first, I want to apologize. Them, them number things I get, there's a lot of number guys out there. I mean, when we was growing up, we was, you know, uh, official Buddha heads OBH. Uh, out of brotherhood, you get you get me. So, uh, everybody, so I get it, but I get the initials messed up anyway. So, I want to be clear on something, I'm going to be 100% transparent. I think I understand what they're trying to do. It's a delay technique, it's a tactic to delay. Now, first, I'm going to tell you what YNW law, um, Medley's lawyer is saying, and so we can have a clear understanding of what their complaint is the government have four people that they plan on calling as witnesses against y n w melly copy these four witnesses have not been deposed they haven't get a deposition for y n w melly's lawyer yet so YNW Melly's lawyer is basically saying, this is what I believe the argument is. How can we consider these to be credible individuals if we haven't had an opportunity to uh, speak with them about what they know pertaining to this case? Okay, so <laughs> this is why I don't think it's gonna work, but understand, if you're a doctor, they have to talk to you, right? They have to make sure that you're a credible doctor, right? So you know you know how to doctor, <laughs> right? So you coming in, you want to tell us about some doctor stuff. We have to know, we have to be sure you know what the dick is over this. So that's basically what their argument is. How do we know how credible these individuals is if we have an opportunity to speak with them? Now, I don't know how much that's going to work. I don't know if the judge is going to look at them with the side eye. <laughs> like, you really trying this in my courtroom? Because it, from the understanding that I have, the what uh why nw melly's girlfriend who ex-girlfriend who by the way she's not necessarily telling the truth so just so we can be clear uh whatever she's coming in to say might not be the truth and so that is one of the reasons why uh why nw melly uh lawyer might want to actually speak with her because if she is saying something that isn't accurate, so they can have everything lined up and they can make sure that uh, they have that shored up, whatever that issue might be. So whatever she's saying might not necessarily be the truth, just so we can be clear. But I do want to say this, and this is uh, something, uh, people forget about what happens in these cases. And stuff. So uh, allegedly, uh, shortly before or after, I think it was after, these two individuals uh, were killed YNW Melly allegedly contacted someone on his cell phone. Now, I think they're trying to say that it was the girlfriend that he contacted or the ex-girlfriend now. And that's why she's uh, being called in. I don't know. I, I'm not. I, I, this is that was just my theory. All right. So don't don't come back at me later and be like, yo, Jake said there was a fix over these. No, I did not say that there was a fix over these. What I said was, is that they said he spoke to somebody, I believe, right after it happened. He texted someone uh, something along those lines. Uh, I think he called. I'm, I'm not 100 percent sure. I got to look back. 
And I believe they're saying that that was uh, the ex-girlfriend or the girlfriend. So what they might get on stand to say is the judge, the uh, the the uh, prosecuting attorney might be asking what was the conversation. And the mother might know what the conversation is because she probably was there when she was having the conversation. Now, with all that also being said, just so we can be clear, you know, people like putting people on speakerphone. So there's no telling who she was with and who heard him say whatever he said when he was on the phone. So the lawyer, YNW Melly, his lawyer wants to uh, depose these people, I'm guessing. I think that's what the issue is. He wants to speak with them before trial. Also, could I just add, that's one of the things your lawyer is supposed to do. That's why certain people not having lawyers, straight drug, Cornelius Lewis, that's why certain people not having lawyers, that's more of what the ramifications is. Do you understand? The judge has to make sure that you have somebody on your side that knows the law. So you can hold the courts accountable. So if there is a conviction or if there is an exoneration, that there is no question that it was a good um, verdict. So that's what the judge is trying to do, just so we can be clear. In all cases, that's what the judge, in most cases, that's how the judge is supposed to operate. Okay, so we don't know. I don't know. I don't know no percentage over here. So, but that's how the judge is supposed to operate. You understand? The judge is just there to make sure that both sides stick to the law of the to the law of the land to the law, and that that is how the uh, jury comes to their decision. Anyway, so I don't know uh, if how much this is gonna work. This might just be a delay tactic. Um, I don't know what to tell you i don't think that this is gonna work i think this is just as this is just a delay tactic at this case at this time because i'm just gonna be perfectly honest with you um i don't think that if somebody says that they're your girlfriend like what is she supposed to do she's supposed to come in and prove they had sex like these are the condoms <laughs> he didn't get put he didn't get a chance to put hot sauce in these bitches yet <laughs> like i don't get it like how like they're saying that that's the girlfriend and that's the girlfriend mom. Since he's saying, yeah, I dated her, but that's not the mom's. Like, are they going to, like, pull a Scooby-Doo mask off of somebody's head? Like, I don't understand what's going on over here. So, it has to be a delay tactic. <laughs> um, and often, just so we can be clear, when uh, somebody is pretty guilty or they don't have a... I'm not even going to say guilty. That's not fair. When they don't have a way to uh, figure out how to defend a client... You will delay the courts until you could work something out, figure something out, or turn something up, right? So, in all honesty, this is just a lawyer doing lawyer things. Anyway, put it down in the comment section. I want to know what you guys think about this. And uh, just on some real shit, just honestly on some real shit. Allegedly. This is just something I'm throwing it all the way at the end. This is nothing to do with what the topic is in, in its totality. But allegedly, allegedly, YNW Melly is said to have basically said it's known that he did do it. That's what I'm going to say. It's known that he did do it. Allegedly, he actually did do it. And the reason why he did do it allegedly, were, I'm saying that word like a million times over here, is allegedly. Is because uh, those two people were extorting him or something along those lines. So that's allegedly why it happened. So the reason why I'm saying all of that and why um, I'm adding this is just so you can get an understanding that um, his side might not be trying to say they didn't do it. They might be trying to say something else. We got to see what happens when they go to court, whatever their defense is. So that might be why they want to talk to the... Um, to the girl and to the mother and also like i said a delay tactic uh when you're not 100 percent sure what your defense is going to be when you get in the open court you're going to want to try to delay with that being said leave it down in the comment section i want to know what you guys think about this video like comment subscribe join the notification gang hashtag Bronx Bombers. let's get it i love y'all take care of each other hug the kids for me i haven't forgotten about you and that's all i got on this one i'm out